Hello, welcome back to Linux Wednesdays, where we look at Linux tips and tricks on a Wednesday. Last week we looked at the power settings and screensaver settings in Linux. And in this week's video, I'm going to show you a simple, lightweight BitTorrent client that just works called Transmission. And I've used this for years on my Mac, and I've also used it for years on my Linux machines. And you'll find Transmission under your Internet tab, Transmission. If for any reason it isn't installed, you can get it through the Software Manager just by typing in transmission. So if I double click on transmission because I've added the icon to the desktop, you'll see this window appears and you've got file, edit, torrent, view, help, open, got a play button there, pause button there, a minus button is remove torrents and you've got properties for the torrent properties, you've got show, all, all and the search button there to search for your torrents if you've got a lot of torrents coming down. Here, You've got a spur gear which you can limit the download speeds from unlimited, say 200 kilobytes, to 10 kilobytes, but mine's on unlimited. You can limit the upload speed. Mine's on unlimited again. And the seed in ratio. So seed forever, stop at 2.0, there's your ratio there. But I don't touch any of them. I just leave all that as it is. Here we've got a tortoise, so you can click to enable or disable alternate download speeds which you can set up in the preferences so if I press on file you got open open URL new and quit and you got edit you got select all deselect all and preferences torrent you can select your torrent preferences so properties open folder start start now ask tracker for more peers queue so you can, if you want to say I don't know you got three copies of Linux coming down you want Linux Mint to come first you can move Linux Mint up to the top set your location verify your data and so on. View, you've got toolbar, filter bar, status, and here you can sort by activity, age, name, progress, that sort of stuff, and help. You've got a message log, statistics, donate, contents, and about. So I press on edit and go on to preferences. And here we have the speed limits. So speed limit, I can tick the box, so I want to upload 100 kilobytes. I can tick the box to say I only want to download 100 kilobytes, but I'll leave them ticked off. I've got alternative speed limits, which was the hair down the bottom. I can say I want to upload at 50, download 50 kilobytes, and I can schedule times. So I can click on schedule times. I can say at 9 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, every single day, that's the speed I want to upload, and I want to download that. But I've left all mine as default, which is off. Downloading. If we click on, you can click on automatically add .torrent files, so it automatically runs. You've got show torrent options in dialog, which is what I've done. Start added torrents, which is what it is, and move dot torrent files to rubbish bin when it's finished. And save location is the downloads. And there's my uh, hard drive, which is 73.56 gigabytes free. Now, here you can download, you've got your downloads queue. Maximum number of downloads is five. I've left everything as default. Maximum uh, sharing data in the last n minutes are active, which is 30 minutes. And append dot part in incomplete file names. I've left everything as default. Seed in, I can set my limits again. So I can go tick on that one. Seed in ratio 2.0. Stop seeding if idle for more than 30 minutes. I've got privacy. Again, left everything as default. And here you can block list various different websites. Got network. Again, you can change all this if you need to, but I've left everything as default. Port use for incoming communications. That's what I'm using. And use UPMP on that. I've just left everything as default and you've got desktop and here you've got show notifications when times are added show notifications when times are finished play a sound when times are finished so I've left everything as default and here's remote so you can log into your torrent client if you wish to do so from another machine so I press on close and we're going to get a torrent file so I'm going on to linusmint.com edition and we're going to download linusmint20 and we're going to do from a torrent file it says file size 1.9 gig, you can read the release notes, announcements, but all I'm going to do is click on Torrent. I'm going to click on Open With, and I'll leave it as Transmission, which is default. If you've got more than one Torrent client installed, then you can select it there, but I'm going to leave it as Transmission. Or I can just save the file, so I'm going to press on OK. And you'll see here, it's telling you, if it says Torrent Options, Torrent File, and I can change the destination folder, say to the desktop. Let's go put it on the desktop, shall we? There we go. 
time priority I can change that to high normal or low but I'll leave it as normal start when added I'm just going to press on open you'll see here now it says line has been 20 mate 64 bit dot ISO none of 2.6 gigabytes 0.0% and it says time remaining 2 days 8 hours and it tells me I'm downloading from 24 out of 50 peers and I'm up I'm down at 56 kilobytes so it's going to take around about 12 hours that's because the hair is selected or tortoise click on this one tortoise and you'll see that now go up you'll see there's the part you'll see and now it's going to take 19 minutes because I'm on the 5.7 5.8 meg a, a second on the on the download so I've gone to fiber optic now when I used to upload on my old broadband upload a video to YouTube I had to run team viewer on my phone and run team viewer on a computer log into team viewer and then three hours four hours later once the, the upload had been done I used to be able, able to log into team viewer on my phone publish the video and shut down the computer all through my phone so my torrent said it's got five minutes left to go and here you can do your speed limits Okay, that was a look at Transmission, a simple, lightweight, BitTorrent client for Linux. Like I say, I've used it for years, simple, lightweight, and just works. And when your download's finished, you'll see your .iso there, ready to burn to a CD or stick it onto a USB stick. If you found the video of some use, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. Comment below what sort of Torrent client you're using on Linux. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.